Um, so I'll take a couple questions if anybody has them. Yeah. Sure. I'm familiar with Whitson. Been there several times. You're oh. resident artist, are you not? I was or a artist in residence. I was an artist in residence um, two two years two years ago. Two years ago. And you showed there this year. Don't jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, okay. So let me let me back up your your, your question real quick. Um, so for my art career, um, I did you know, I dabbled a little bit in becoming an artist and wasn't sure if I was going to do it. In 2007, um, I well before this I heard about this this really important show called Birds and Art. Um, it is hosted by Lee Lee Yawkey Woodson Art Museum up in Wisconsin. Um, for those of you who don't know, anybody who paints, draws, or sculpts birds, it is the most important show ex exhibition that you can get into. It is it is the top of the top. And <laughs> we, you, guys, you guys have two birds in our artists here, so. Um, so in 2007, I put caution into the wind. I was like, I'm gonna submit, see what happens. And um, the 2007 catalog is over there, you can see it. So I just told you what happened. Um, <laughs> so I entered and got in. It was the first time I have ever entered into Birds and Art, and I was very fortunate to get in. Um, I can remember, it's when they used to send the big envelopes. I remember getting the big envelope and sitting in my studio going, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Um, 2008, I was completely destroyed because I didn't get in. So, um, so every year, I submit to Birds and Art, and it is my bar for what I've done that year. If I get in, I'm obviously doing something right. If I don't get in, I work 10 times harder. So I just submitted a piece. Um, we'll find out May 11th uh, if we get in or not. So, <laughs> so I have applied. This is my 11th year, and out of those 11 years, I've gotten in six times. So it's one of the most important things I, I probably do. And the Lee Yawkey Woodson Art Museum has been probably, I can probably pinpoint, they have altered my career path. Because I got into that show, I decided to go full time. As a, as a wildlife artist. Um, I now basically own and operate an art school. I did that because I went up and did that artist in residency. So I felt very comfortable up there. I talked to the art educator, uh, art, edu uh, what's her title? Educator director or something? I don't know what it is. Talked to her, she thought I should do it. And again, I made a career change because of that, that museum. So anyway, 